Hi, what you see on the screen is a map of socio-economic deprivation in London, poverty in a, in a word. We are going to build this map over the next 10 minutes. We're going to start off by looking at the data set and the shape files. All the files and resources you need are in the links below and you can follow along if you want. And then in seven easy steps, we're going to build this map. So let's get started. If you'd like to build the map, then all the files that you need are on a public OneDrive here. The, the link is in the description below. And what we've got here is the data set. We'll have a look at that in, in a minute. But we've also got a worked example Power BI file and all the shape files. Let's have a look at that data set. Here's our data set. It's an excerpt from some public data, the indices of multiple deprivation that's provided by the Ministry of Housing, uh, Communities and Local Government. And they have split the UK into 32,844 local areas, small neighbourhoods called LSOAs. We're looking at the only the about 5,000 or so that are in London. And for each LSOA, they've split the LSOA into 10 deciles, of which uh, the decile number one is the most deprived, decile number 10 is the least deprived. We need a file with all the boundaries of those LSOAs, and I've downloaded one from the ONS Open Geography Portal. What I can do is have a quick look at it using this wonderful uh, website called MapShaper. If I'm coming along and I'm going to drag my file in, my zip file in, I'm going to click on import and there we can see those 5,000 or so small neighborhoods. What we can also do is I'm going to click on console, I'm going to info and we can see some of the attributes. I want to notice that we have this attribute, this column called LSOA 11NM, same column name as we had for our data and that has the identifier for each of the LSOAs. We'll need that later. Let's build that map in seven easy steps. The first step is to get a free account and an access token from mapbox.com. If you click on mapbox.com and click on start mapping for free, fill in the details, the usual sort of sign up form. I've already done that and I've already got myself an access token. This is a free account subject to certain limits, but as you can see, those limits are very generous. Step two is to import our shape files into the Mapbox Studio. I click on the Mapbox Studio link. I'll choose tile sets and I want to create a new tile set. I want to import the London LSOA shape zip file that's in the session materials folder. There it is. I'll confirm it. And in a few seconds, it creates this shape file under custom tile sets. Let's look at that and there's some important properties. First of all, the tile set ID. Then what we've got is the layer name, which is here. And then we've got the columns, the layer details. And you remember that we've got a column LSOA 11 name. That's going to be an identifier column that's going to match up with the data in our IMD data set. Step three is to import that deprivation data into Power BI Desktop. I've launched Power BI Desktop here. I'm going to go to Get Data. It's a CSV file. That's the file. I'll just open. That looks good and I'll go straight to load. There we see it in the field list. If we have a look at the data pane, we can see our data there. Step four is to add our map box visual to our palette. It's not a standard visual, so we have to click on the three dots in the palette. Get more visuals. This brings up the list of Power BI visuals, custom visuals. I'm going to search for map box and add the map box visual. Step five is to configure our map box visual. Here's the icon on the palette. I'll click on that to give us a visual on our screen. And then I'm going to use the four pieces of information that we found in step two when we looked at map box studio the Mapbox access token when we created our token and then when we imported our shapefile we had the tile set ID, the layer name and the vector property. The first thing that I'm going to do 
is to put our LSOA on the location field and our decile on the color field. Now we can go to our formatting pane and we can add those four items of information. The first is our axis token. I'll put it in there. And then what we want to do is we want to turn circles off and go to our core pleth, switch it on, and then move down to where we get to level one. And instead of the United States, this is a map of London. So I'm going to choose a custom tile set. I'll add the tile set ID the layer name and finally the vector property name that column and there we have it our first map step six is to choose our colors a bit more carefully what we've got in our Power BI map is something of a photographic negative what we're looking at here is an infographic from the MHCLG that produced it and here's this inset in London and they have a scale a standard scale that goes from dark blue for most deprived to a kind of yellow for least deprived whereas our color scale at the moment is goes from a, a yellow as minimum most deprived to a dark blue exactly the opposite of what we want so I'm just going to change those scales I'm going to say I want some sort of diverging scales starting off with a minimum decile as some sort of blue and I'll go that's fine for the center and the maximum decile as a yellow and there we have it a more consistent set of colors step seven our final step is to improve on those colors we're going to use exactly the same colors as this infographic if I come up to the front we can see all those colors there and I've used a standard web color picker to work out the color codes for each of those deciles here they are there's deciles 1 to 10 and here are those color codes now what we want to do is apply those color codes to our Power BI visual but at the moment we can't because there's not yet here something called data colors and that's because so far we've got this decile is a numeric scale and we want actually a categorical scale so first let's create a calculated column called decile text which is simply the same as the decile but a data type of text to do that I'm going to create on new column I'll call my new column decile text and the formula that I'm going to use I'm going to use format that takes a number and converts it to a string the number I want is my decile and it really does require a format string but I'll just give it an empty format string and I'll click on OK now we have this new column called decile text if I look at its data type it's text whereas the original de decile if I look at the data type of that that was whole number I've duplicated my original page to create a, a v2 page and what I'm going to do I'm going to come and replace my decile on the values with my decile text so now we have got a specific color code for each of the deciles if I click on my formatting pane we can see that we've got this data colors that we never didn't have before and for each of those deciles we've got a color they're the wrong colors but what we can do is simply click on custom color and choose the right colors I'll do that for the first color decile one and then switch off the video as I do it for the remaining ones so here are my color codes in Excel I'll just grab the color code for decile one I'll come into here and I'll replace that with that color code and that's what I've done and so on decile two click on custom color and so on that's completed the color mapping and I hope that we've got a better map one thing that I'll do is I'll just come to the map style and make that dark that's a personal preference and I will switch off the geocoder as well there we go this is just the start of using the Mapbox visual we've hardly used any of its more powerful features I'm going to come back to this visual in future videos and indeed the London deprivation data set and I hope you can join me for those <laughs>